Welcome to the best of UFOs. Venus, the second planet from the sun. It was the first celestial body to be tracked by mankind in the second millennium BC. Depicted as a robust woman 35,000 years ago, the Venus of Willendorf has persisted through time all the way up until 1486 with the birth of Venus by Sando Bacelli, the fertile woman, the giver of life. But if life existed there, what would it look like? The Russians call Venus Venera. From 1961 to 1984, the Russian Space Agency sent 13 probes to Venus. In pairs, they retrieved data and photographs sending them back to Earth. Among other accomplishments, they were the first man-made probes to enter another planet's atmosphere with Venera 7 in 1970. The conditions on Venus are so harsh, each probe was only able to survive no more than 20 minutes to almost 2 hours. With atmospheric pressure, 92 times greater than Earth, and temperatures of 863 degrees Fahrenheit, or 462 degrees Celsius. It rains sulfuric acid and snows metal on the surface. The probe, Venera 12, photographed its own lens cap, creating a firestorm of disinformation of an alien object caught on the surface that survives to this day, and again Venera 13 in 1982 found an object. However, Dr. Sans Formality, head of the Laboratory of Photometry and Thermal Radiometry at the Space Research Institute Russian Academy of Sciences and a contributor to the Venera missions from 1970 to 1980 published a paper in January of the following year saying he was observing three objects which he believed to show signs of being living organisms. Quote, A few relatively large objects were found, the size ranging from a decimeter to half a meter and with unusual morphology. The objects were observed on some images but were absent on others or altered their shape." End quote. Venera 13 also captured this picture of the surface of Venus and what looks like piles of rocks. Upon further processing, reveals more and more of what appears to be some type of octopus creature climbing the rocks to inspect the recently landed craft followed by two companions. Have we been observing life on another planet for 30 years and just denied it because we didn't want to know? The truth is right under your nose.